Hi, I am Karthik. Welcome to cha my channel Karthik the Coder. Today my topic is limit showering project in Whitehead Junior. Let's start the project. Go to view code and sign into your code.org account and sign in and hit double click here and you will get this project after click remix Whitehead Junior they had given the labels and the labels and buttons huh? let's start the code see here tower. these are labels this is a core this these are labels okay this label they they had given names for that this is start and stop when we click stop button in that timer loop want to be stop and when we click start button that want to be reset and start okay go, go to code okay after go to variables the variables declare a variable once Okay, variable name is display seconds. Display seconds. Another variable display minute. Also, another variable called water used. After taken on event at this start button. Okay. After give that variables and give the first variable block. The you, we want to give these three variable names. Huh? Sorry, not this block. The third block. In that, give the first name as display seconds. After, give zero. After. Display minute. Zero. After another, you want to assign another variable. What I used? Used and assign assigned for zero. After a time would loop. Time loop for thousand milliseconds. Okay, this after go to variables and take what we used before block and assign the variable block and give the first name as display seconds. Mm -hmm. Display seconds. Go to math and take add operator and give the first name as display display. S 
seconds plus one and go to UI controls and take set number three blocks in the time loop. Okay. Then the first ID is display minutes. Display minutes means label minutes. And second one is display seconds, which is label seconds. And the third one is water use, which is label water use. Okay. And make these text as display minutes, these variable names, these three. These three variable names, okay. This play seconds uh, minutes display seconds And water used. After taken another time of loop, and give the tag sixty thousand. Sixty. Thousand millisecond, which is sixty sixty seconds. Okay, and go to variables and take the third variable block, assign a variable, and give that first name as display seconds. And display minute, give here zero. Go to variables, take this block and the time, and do as display minute. Is equal to. Go to math. And take add operator and go to UI controls and give that name display display minute. Plus one. Take the variable and the time. Then do that first name as water used variable is equal to go to math. Take add operator. Do here as water used. Plus five. Okay. After take an on event at the bottom of the on event start button and on event this on event first stop button. Okay. 
get go go to variables and take these variables three times one two three the first variable name is display seconds is equal to zero display minute is equal to zero water used is equal to zero and go to control and take stop time of loop finish once try wait for one minute for every minute that water use will be changed this zero to five every minute that want to be changed to five once check that this code is running or not for another 20 minutes 20 seconds Yes. Okay. Stop. That will be stop. Start means that will be reset and come. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment or like my video. Thanks.